my fellow workers in government, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Um, as I was listening to the young lady, and she is a lady, uh, I could not help but shed a tear to think, to try, to have to relive the suffering that she went through and to think how many other children are even as we here sit in this fancy hotel room eating our fancy food, continuing to suffer the same fate as she has. And accompanying those tears that I just shed was a deep sense of shame because we have not done enough for the Philippines to now be considered the epicenter of, uh, let us not shorten it into a, a, a clinical term, OSAEC. It is sexual abuse and exploitation of children. And I leave it to your imagination. And I would imagine in some cases your imagination cannot even begin to fathom what is done to these poor children, to our poor children. And so we must do more. We must do more. The Filipino culture, the, one of the most important part of the Filipino culture is family. We are known around the world for that. We are so well known for it that we are, Filipinos are the number one, are the number one caretakers of foreign children all around the world. I go uh, and travel and meet important leaders all around the world. And they say, and I'm talking about kings and queens and presidents and prime ministers. And they say to me, I was raised by a Filipina. My second mother is a Filipina. And that's what we Filipinos are. We love our families. We adore our children. And for us to allow this to happen in our country brings to me an overwhelming sense of shame because being in government, being in public service, we are not doing enough. We must do more. However, I am happy that we have now, the, together with the Interagency Council Against Trafficking and the Department of the Interior and Local Government, that we have had now this uh, conference and uh, the IJM has organized this very important event. We are here today to confront one of the greatest challenges of our time. The challenges that we face in government are always the challenges that are brought to us by the future. And what exemplifies our future more? What symbolizes our future more than our children? And that is why this strikes at the very heart of our society. It undermines the foundations of what we are, of who we are as a people. In every community that is alive with the laughter and the chatter of children, there is a dark reality where half a million Filipinos, one in every 100 Filipinos, has been victimized. It is an appalling statistic. We cannot allow this to continue. We will not allow it to continue. This is a horrible, horrible scourge of online sexual abuse or exploitation of children or osaki which remains widespread now in our country. It's not a distant problem. All the, all the victims just faceless and nameless children. Perhaps we do not know them. Perhaps we do not, uh, we're not related to them. But they are all our children. They are Filipinos. We do not even have to go through the exercise of trying to imagine, oh, what, what would I feel if it happened to our children? Doesn't matter, just look at the child. Think of any child, any child. They live within our midst and several, maybe the sons, daughters of those people we know. 
Their smiles, their brave smiles, innocent smiles, conceal the pain that is our nation's shame. As the sad reality is that many perpetrators are the victims, families, or relatives, the very people that we expect to care for them. And as this is a battle that we must not lose and we will not lose, this administration created the Presidential Office for Child Protection, or POCP, which is a critical step in our fight against this crisis.